Well, good day, moderators. I'm back for a second video today. Today I'll be reviewing the <coughs> Walters Mainline CSX um, Bay Window, International Bay Window. Assembled, okay. So let's open this up. Today I'm not skipping over it like the first video, but please check out the first video from me unboxing the whole package. So, um, with me looking at it with further, for that inspection, um, there's one little issue here, um, looks like the height gauge, well, I'll get back to you with the height gauge, actually, I just don't know, but it has metal wheels, so, easier movement without having stiffer I have one CSX locomotive, but it's under investigation, so one sec. Well, well, the closest thing I do have to a CSX is a Conrail. I showed it. Oh. Actually, I know that Conrail is directly up to the MNRA height standards, so I'm sure this is correct to the height. I had a friend review it for me back at the Mall Roading Club. He was doing the video, I forgot his YouTube channel name, but yeah. So it's a big window international where instead of a normal caboose with a high top, I crushed the box behind me. This is special to this compared to this Sam Fay over here. Like this, where it has a gosh, try to look on the camera to touch it, but um, well, for the roof because trains got way higher. And on the northeast corridor, it would be too high. Here, I I'm doing something. Like <laughs> the big window thing. I, I just took off the roof with two snaps. Has no interior for Bachman. So, yeah. Well, this is a bay window caboose review. I'll be seeing it morally on my layout coming up. So, have a nice day.